Some of you may remember a video that I uploaded on my channel many years ago, where I attempted to play old PC games inside virtual machines. In fact, it's the most popular video on the channel currently. While this video is several years old, and I'm honestly not that proud of it, the state of gaming on virtual machines really hasn't changed any since then. Not changing, meaning that it still sucks. And while there are ways to get old games running on modern systems, there hasn't really been an option that really captures the classic feel. Console players have had the luxury of using emulators since the mid-90s, so why isn't there one for old PCs? Well, there is actually one. The emulator I'm talking about is called PCM, and it has actually been around for a number of years, but only recently has it made many impressive advancements that make it a far more capable option for running old software. PCM is a true PC emulator, unlike a VM, where it's just running software on your modern hardware with some trickery to get software to think that it's a separate computer. PCM, on the other hand, is actually emulating a full PC and all of its hardware. It can emulate the original IBM 5150 all the way up to a slot 1 machine with a Pentium 2. As well as it can emulate numerous video cards and sound cards, such as 3DFX voodoo cards and sound blasters. I've been messing around with it a lot lately, and it's really cool being able to have dozens of different configurations right at your fingertips. Being able to go from a Pentium machine with a Voodoo 1 to an IBM XT, and then over to a 46, all without having to get out of your chair or spend any money on old components that aren't getting any cheaper and can be unreliable, is such a neat experience. I see PCM as being a great entry point for someone who just wants to dip their toes into the vintage computing pool while still having a wide variety of options for the more experienced retro enthusiast. With all that said though, PCM isn't perfect, and while PCM can handle a wide variety of systems and handle most of them with little issue, the faster CPU configs can be quite difficult to run. This brings up the Achilles heel of PCM, and that is its CPU emulation is entirely single-threaded. Now, I won't get into any of the technical complexities surrounding this, but this means that you need a CPU with very strong single-threaded performance to run most of the later CPUs. With my current CPU, a Ryzen 5 2600 clocked at 4GHz, I can just about run a Pentium MMX running at 166MHz. Now, my CPU is a few years old, and was mid-range when it was new, but it's still a pretty good CPU for most things, and a lot of people probably have even slower CPUs than I do, which means they'll be even limited to slower processors. However, it is kind of funny that I can emulate a PS3 game with little issues, which is supposed to be super hard to emulate, yet I can't properly emulate a 200MHz CPU from 25 years ago. Now, I know what some of you must be thinking, why would I use this when I can just use DOSBox? While you can configure DOSBox to suit your needs on a game-by-game -game basis, PCM allows you to emulate specific PC hardware and tune the experience exactly how you want to use it. DOSBox also doesn't have 100% compatibility with all games, since it isn't using real MS-DOS. PCM in theory should have near-perfect compatibility, since you can install real versions of MS-DOS and Windows, assuming there isn't some weird problem emulating the hardware itself. Most games should run just as they would on a real vintage machine. Also, getting Windows to run properly inside DOSBox can be a real pain, especially if you need to run Windows 95 or 98. PCM, on the other hand, is a breeze to get Windows running well. So even though PCM may have its issues, I definitely recommend you download it and give it a shot. It's pretty simple to set up, and most computers should be able to handle emulating a 486 with next to no problem. I'll put the link to where to download it in the description, so go have some fun messing with some virtual hardware right from the convenience of your modern computer.